What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Ark Hardcore on the Lost Island map and today guys we're going to head out and grab ourselves some Magmasaur eggs. But before we do head out there, a couple of things I want to run by you guys. So I did get the soul terminals up here placed and I have got them successfully configured to actually capture newborn dinos. So you can see here this is a baby Dinopithecus male. Um, and I've currently got, I believe, uh, one of these females down the bottom here. I've got best M breeding with, I think, our best female. So when she gives birth, that will automatically get captured by the soul terminal. It'll go into one of the balls, and then uh, and then it'll just sit in there until we're ready to go. So this is going to save us a lot of time breeding for mutations and stuff like that when we eventually get around to it. Uh, I don't think I'm exactly there yet at the moment, but this will also tell us if we get any mutations. So it saves us a lot of the hassle of having to deal with like killing them and stuff like that but like i said today guys we are going to go get a magmasaur egg hopefully i have also added a new mod and that is uh one of eco's mods because i saw it on the steam workshop and i was like i can't resist this looks so good and it would be perfect for our room area that we're going to do up here and this pretty much adds a whole heap of um rp stuff so you've got cabinets you've got cupboards you've got an ice box you've got decorations you've got furniture you've got uh, what else we got? We got mounted trophy sort of things, utility stuff, and um, rugs. So we're going to be taking a look at that later down the line. Probably not today, maybe next episode, because uh, we're going to work on the base a bit more. But I figured we'd go get a Magmasaur because it would probably cut out quite a bit of time ferrying the metal across to the base. Especially considering it has the same forge time as a refining forge now, I believe. Or I think it's a little bit faster, maybe. So, yeah, but we're going to take Red Rocket, and we are also going to take... I think we have shit stain in our inventory. We do have shit stain, and we're also going to take our other monkey down the bottom there. We're going to take those guys with us to the Magmasaur eggs, because the Magmasaur eggs are located not that far from us. They're up the top there at about 2070. So we're going to head up there, and we're going to try and, and grab ourselves an egg. I'm going to drop these off real quick, and we also have that. So that can go down the bottom there. I just need more crystal traps. I do have a couple in this soul terminal, which we'll grab, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging with how the base is going. I, I didn't really get a chance to fix up most of it last episode, which is unfortunate. I didn't really get to do as much as I wanted to, but it, it just happens. So hopefully next episode we can actually put everything down that we need. I'm going to grab one of these for our little Cineo Macrops. Uh, I've got plenty of food. These guys can go away in here. Give me that... Because, yeah, if we get a magma sword, I'm pretty sure that'll just completely negate the need to having a, a needing an Anki. So, that's what I'm thinking. Dinopithecus is doing good. They're uh, doing their job of guard. I, I kind of want to level this whole area and, and use all the resources as permanent stuff for our base. But, at the same time, I do like having the trees and stuff like that around there. But, I'm thinking that we... Oh, what am I doing? I don't even need to do that anymore. Boom, look at that. Did I get the helmet? I'm thinking that um, we just keep this area as like a resource area. I don't need any of that. I didn't get the helmet. Give me one sec, guys. We've got to grab the helmet for our Sinomac crops because I don't want anything happening to it. This is the one that we did breed anyway, so we do have the, the breeding pair still available. But if it's got a flak helmet on, it does increase its chances of survival a little bit. Where is the flak helmet? Did I not craft it? What the shit? Hello, flak... It's not in my inventory. Where did it go? Did I put it on the... I don't remember putting it on the monkey. I don't know. Alright, doesn't matter. Let's do this. Let's give you that. There you go, mate. You got a little bit of uh, little bit of armor now with twinsies. Okay, so we're going to take Red Rocket. We'll probably just ride on him. He's our strongest male. Uh, I don't think Shitstain and... Mandrill... Yeah, they're not imprinted, so we should be fine. Alright, let's head up to the volcano. So it's not a very big trip. Shouldn't take us very long. I am going to be keeping an eye out for more Dinopithecuses. I know you guys are probably absolutely sick of me trying... Well, sick of me taming them, actually, because I'm not trying to. I am taming them. Um, but like I said, I do want to... What is... You, you good, fam? I do want to use these guys for the boss fight. 100% will be using the Dinopithecuses for the boss fight, which is why I want to invest in some good ones. Four? Speaking of... That was a 150, I swear to God. That is a 150 Dinopithecus. Alright, I'm going to get that guy into the trap. I know. I'm sorry. I, I started off the same same thing last episode doing this, but that's a 150 Dinopithecus. I need that guy in my life. Actually, you know what? This is the perfect time. What I'm going to do 
is I want to try out, uh... Oh, he's given up? I was going to say, I want to try out Captain Fat Dog's trap. That I saw. Um, he's been making traps for all the new dinos. It's really good. Alright, come on you. That's the 150. I want this guy's attention. He is a male, but... I'm not really too fast on that. I just don't want him fighting the Megatheriums. Do I have normal arrows? No, rip. Alright, let's just slam. Slam a jammer. Oh, don't want to piss off the Megatherium. Alright, hopefully the Dinopithecus is aggro on me. Hey guys, how we doing? Alright, here we go. I love getting stun locked permanently by him. Alright, here we go. He's on the Dodicarus now. God damn it. I don't know. Do these... Do the juveniles count as um, thingies? Are they stuck on the Dodicarus? No, come on. I'm not really too fussed about tanking some damage here. We've got the flak helmet on. We can we can take a bit of damage. I'm just going <laughs> to try and get this guy up to the trap. Are the babies following us? I don't know. There is another adult down there. Alright, I might have to just build another trap, to be honest. Real quick, because uh, I think that might be the way to go about doing it. So, give me one sec. I'll build this trap and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, and there's also a 150 adolescent female Dinopithecus right here in front of us. She was running around and I started freaking out because I was like, this thing's going to attack us while we were crafting. And she's a... She's a 150. I'm going to try and kite her into the trap. I, she's running away from me, so I think it's because she's an adolescent. But I don't think I have really any control over what direction she goes, but she's a 150. Okay, actually, you know what? You know what? We actually need to keep her separate because if we bring her into the fray with this other male, we're going to need to kill them because there's only, there can only be one alpha sort of thing. So that was, that was a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. Let's, um, I need, what do we need? Fence, fence. Is it fence posts? Yeah, it's the fence supports. Let's get those. That's the main thing of this trap, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, I got no stone. Okay, guys, and I literally have just found another female over there as well. A 150. So I don't know what the hell is going on today. But we are finding all of the freaking 150s. So I, I'm taking a bit of a second here to, from the, the magma source to hopefully tame up some of these. But I'm trying to keep them all separate. Because if we bring them together, then we're going to have to kill some of them. Uh, what do we need? Stone. I need the railings. We need to make more of these. Okay, let's come over here. I'm going to start trying to get this trap down. Because I want to keep these ones separate from the male. And then that adolescent one as well, we want to keep separate. Oh, she's running away from us? Why? Alright, let's get this trap down. So, I think... I, I don't remember off the top of my head if this is the right way, but... I'll find out in a second. That's the S plus ones. Huh. Do I have to... I, I can't remember. I did watch the video briefly, but I don't remember exactly how... We do the trap. It was something like this, but I'm... I mean, this isn't working. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I might have to come back to it. Or I can just try and kite them up towards the other trap. I don't really know. What is it? What does she say? She's a 150. I don't know if I, if I kill her. Alrighty, guys. I've got the trap up and running, and this is it here. So, it's super basic. It's really easy and quick to build. So, there's the female over there. She does have the alpha buff glow to her. So, I'm going to try and kite her over there. And she seems to be, like, shitting out monkeys. You guys going to come and get me? I don't think I can tame her. I'm going to drop this excess stone. I uh, just dropped all my trank arrows. Whatever. That's fine. I don't care. Is she going to try and attack me? I don't understand. I'm trying to get her attention. She definitely has the alpha buff. Come on, lady. I want to tame you. Okay, here we go. So now what we need to do is you just need to run this way. Gonna jump over that, and she should automatically go in, and she'll fall in just like that. And we seem to have also caught ourselves a freaking Kano as well. So let's deal with the Kano. But yeah, that it's an awesome trap, and then the best part about it is what you can actually do is you can kite multiple monkeys in here, obviously. You can see there she's just hovering. 
I don't know if it works on babies, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, yep, they... Oh, no, kind of, but not really. They get stuck in there, but they don't hover like that. So then what you can do is you can actually walk in here. Ouch. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, mate, chill. I think he knocked a baby out. Oh, no, there's still another baby in there. So can I... And then you can actually come in here. I don't know if it... There must be at least two... Adults, yeah. I need another adult. Alright, I need to try and find another adult one, and then I'm going to try and kite that out here. But she should be stuck there for a while. There was that 150 male out here, but I don't want to have to choose between the two of them. But I don't know if he had any other little minions following him around. So I'm going to see if I can find another one, and we need to try and get these... I don't even know where that 150 male has gone, to be honest. He was on this beach, and now he's, he's kind of just vanished. So I'm thinking he's probably made his way up into the castle here. But that's, that's fine with us. We're just going to have to come back to him later, I think. But I want to try and get this 150 female knocked, uh, tamed up. And then we can work on getting the other ones. Because if we can get... I have a feeling you are the 150 female as well. You're an adolescent though. So we need to find the adults. I think maybe they died. There were a couple of Kanos down here that could have possibly killed them. Alright, I'm going to see if I can track down a male. Normally there are not another monkey. Normally there's heaps on the beach here. So if I head over this way, hopefully we can find another one. Speaking of the devil, we've just found one. Level 55 Dinopithecus. So that's perfect. We can sacrifice him. I just don't want it to aggro the Megatherium. Cool. I'm happy to tank a little bit of damage. I just... It's so annoying how they get stun locked like this. Like, honestly... It's the bloody worst. Alright, we're going to kite this guy over to the trap. I need to try and get some space between us though, so I can actually jump over the trap myself. There we go. Alright, and he should go straight in. Never mind, he didn't. Okay, he missed that time as well. Let's just do another rerun. Come on, big fella. Ah, oh, shit. I'm too much on the side. He's going to get that... No, come back after me. After me, after mm. me, you dingus. Bro, you're not going to get it. Come and get me. Okay, there we go. Alright, beautiful. He's in the... Oh, he managed to make his way in between both of them. Surely that'll get him. Beautiful. Alrighty. Now that should do the trick here. We have... Oh my god, how many baby monkeys have we caught? Look at them all! <laughs> oh, look at all the baby monkeys. Alright. Scare the alpha by killing one beta. Yeah, alright, cool. So now we just need to kill... Can I... Fiber... I mean... Should we just use this guy? I want to kill the babies too, because they're annoying. Alright, I don't think I'm hitting the female. But yeah, this is the, the trap, and it's really effective. Like, it's great. You can see here, and you can make it as big as you want. Uh, as small as you want. So, shout out to Captain Fat Dog. Check out his other trap. Oh, I thought I killed her. Check out the other traps, because he's, he's done some pretty damn awesome traps. I'm going to kill these guys. Um, I don't have any mutton. I don't know if I've seen a sheep around here, actually. I was going to say, I'd love to mutton tame it. Okay. I might just have to be stuck with using Prime, though. Let's take a look. Let me through. Health must be below 85%. Yeah, and then all you need to do is... I'll just use the sickle. And you can just sit under it, like this. Oh my god. I'm stuck. <laughs> and then, yeah, and like, you, they, they don't really have a way to attack you, so it's really good for that. But, um, yeah, this definitely recommend this trap over, like, my traps that I've been doing. Because it works so much more effectively. I'm going to tame this one up. I'm just going to babysit it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's fine. And then we'll go get some Magmasaur eggs, because that's originally what we set out to do. There is another 150 female in the castle area. I will try and trap her in our trap that's already up there. Um... I don't know what happened to that 150 male, but we'll see what happens because we can always breed that male with our... Um, we can always breed these females with our perfect male to see what stats we get. And we don't even know what stats these guys have yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty, and she's done. Now, I've got to admit, this isn't the most pleasant position to be stuck in with pooping and shit on us. But she's all tamed up, perfect tame, and disappointing. They look like very subpar stats. The health might be decent. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at the health. 
but very subpar stats so far. So that's not a good sign. All right, doesn't matter though. What we're going to do now, let's head out to the Magmasaur. I will come back and see if I can find the male later. Um, and then we've got to wait for that other 150 female to actually raise up before we can even try and tame her. So yeah, we'll go get a Magmasaur egg, hopefully. And I'll bring you guys back when we're up at the volcano. Alrighty guys, we're at the volcano area and we've already found a couple of Mag Magasauruses. Now, I don't know whether or not we actually do it here or if we go to the uh, to the snow biome and do it in the snow biome. I don't know what really would be better, to be honest. I feel like this... I don't know, the snow biome is going to be super cold. Whereas out here, it might be a little bit too dangerous. Although, it doesn't appear to be too many predators. Like, all I've seen so far are Amagas and a Diamorphodon. So, I mean, this could possibly be the best spot to tame them. The only thing is we need to set up a trap, I think, to make it work properly. Well, not work properly, to make our lives a lot easier. Uh, like I said, Captain Fat Dog's already come up with, like, a ton of traps that you can use. Because the Amagasaurus will try and fight everything. Whereas with these traps, you can just bring creatures to the Amagasaurus and it'll... Try and attack them, but it will automatically tame, like, increase the taming bar. So it's a really good trap. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel in the comments for today's video. But I'm just trying to find the cave where the actual magma saws are. Because I believe it's, like, on the edge. It's, like, around the backside here. So we're almost there. Um, I'm just hoping that there's eggs in there. I'm hoping. Because we are on single player, so... Uh, there's a possible chance that there aren't any eggs. I've noticed that the wyvern eggs... Take their sweet time spawning in on other maps. I don't think I wanted to go down here. I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Alright, let's keep going. That's fine. I don't know whether or not I need to throw out the other the other Dinopithecuses. I feel like I probably don't, right? It should be fine. Alright, let's get up this mountainside. Uh, I don't know what is going on with the climbing, but hey, that's that's just how they <laughs> that's just how they climb apparently. Alright. Um I feel like I could probably tank a Magmasaur. Even if I have to sacrifice some Dinopithecuses, as much as it would kill me to sacrifice uh, Shitstain and I can't remember, Mandrill, I'd still be pretty upset about losing them because they, they're the OGs. But I think the cave is just up here. But remember, this is on hardcore. So we screw up, we're in big trouble. This Amagasaurus has picked a fight with something. There's another one down there. It's like pink. That looks cool. Because it is, I think we still have Christmas dinos wandering around on the map as well. Uh, for the Christmas event. I don't think it's ended just yet. What is that up there? Oh, Thorny Dragon. Alright. Oh, I also need to find some sand and cactus sap. So I might go out to the desert. I don't think that's a desert. But I might head out there and see if I can find... That makes me nervous. It's not a Pelovia. What the hell is it? <gasps> it is a Pelovia. Alright, thank God it's only level 15. Because otherwise I'd be dead. 100%. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it didn't jump out at me before. That scared the sh... I thought, <laughs> I thought it was sand. I got excited for a second there. Thank God it was a low level. Otherwise I probably would have died. Oh my God. My heart. Alright. Uh, cave? Where are you? I just have to like try and remember the exact location. I think it's down here. Okay. He's dropping shit. We've got Megalanias out here. I don't want to fight Megalanias. It's on the back side of this. So, we're almost there. I know the cave has a couple of entrances. I'm just trying to think of one in particular. Was that an entrance there? Possibly. Possibly an entrance into the Magmasaur cave? Or is this a different... This looks very much like a different cave. I don't think I've been to this cave before. This does not look like the Mag... Maybe? Magmasaur cave? Yeah, no, this isn't the Magmasaur Cave. This might be an Artifact Cave. I haven't actually looked too much into the Artifacts on this map, like where they are and stuff like that. So, I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be an Artifact Cave. I'm just kind of wondering at this stage, though. I'm very nervous about all the lava. One wrong move and we die. Literally. Okay, uh, we seem to be okay. Let's try and get this mag... I mean, I don't think there's going to be Magmasaur eggs in here. This very much so looks like an artifact cave. 100%. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the way out. But, hey, we're here. And <laughs> we're doing it. Luckily, I, I don't... Nothing seems to have spawned in. I don't know why. 
Oh, this is nervous. Nerve wracking. Oh. Okay, there's no artifact there. Maybe that's a drop lot, drops point location. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. This is a freaking big cave. How have I not stumbled upon this cave before? All right, we've got to drop down there. There's some metal nodes. There's no th thingy spawned in. I'm going to say it's the single player bug where stuff just slowly spawns in in caves. So once we pick up the artifact, we'll then have to contest with everything trying to get out of it. Because, yeah, there's nothing in here. Let's take a look here. Packy Ryan on an apprentice equus saddle. Sure. Alright, I mean, I'm just making my way through here. Lots of metal. I feel like I've just gone in a big bloody circle, though. Was this not just where I was? <gasps> oh, that was close. That was way too close for comfort. All right, let's just get down here. I mean, I'll take a free. I'll take an artifact if there's one in here. We got another red drop. Cool. Cloth shirt and an ascendant metal hatchet. All right, let's, let's do this. Um, I feel like I've just gone in a big circle, right? Like, I'm not seeing an artifact anywhere. This is a goddamn big cave. That just takes me... Okay, hold on. No, this is taking us somewhere. I have no idea how the hell I'm going to get out of you, though. I feel like I've just gone in a big circle. This cave is very confusing and it makes me uncomfortable with the amount of lava around us. Oh. Uh. Do we jump? I don't know. I guess so. This is back where we were. We've already been... We went the other way to get... Across that bridge. I have no idea where the hell I am. Whether or not... I'm assuming this has to be an artifact cave. But I am very... Oh no, here it is. Okay, well, I mean, free artifact. Well, I, I'll take it. We're going to need these for the boss fight. What is it? Oh, I can't remember which one this is. Artifact of the immune. Beautiful. Alright, let's try and get the hell out of here. Um, all I know is we need to try and get back to that room with the metal nodes. And then I could probably try and find my way out from there. Try being the keyword here. Okay, this. Um, hmm. Hold the phone. Let's go this way then. Nope, that takes us to lava. I mean, I'll I'll take a free artifact. I'm gonna try and get the hell out of here. Oh, this looks like the exit. Was it really that easy? All right, let's just. Uh, I think this is... The, I have no idea, guys. I'm so lost. I'm completely lost. <laughs> I'm just going to try and get out of this cave, I think. Okay, and I think... Yeah, I think I found the exit. Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't know, honestly, how the hell we managed to get out of there, but we did. So, <laughs> I had no idea this was even here. Let's uh, let's see if we can find the Magmasaur nests now. So, we're just going to head up and around this bit, because I know there's a cave entrance just in line with that island behind this big volcano area. So, uh, free artifact. Sure, I'll take it. Alrighty guys, we're at the Magmasaur cave entrance. Here it is here. Uh, there definitely seems to be Magmasaurs inside. Oh yeah. Alright, I am going to throw out Mandrill and Shitstain. I can't remember how I think it, but let's throw out Shitstain here. Uh, our armor's ready to go. Alright, let's whistle follow all. We're going to put that away. Alright, I gotta see if there's actually eggs in here first. Can I use... I'm gonna use them to tank, and then hopefully they do the bleed damage. This is a cool looking magma sword, it's got green on it. Alright, nice. First magma sword dead. I'm hoping that there's some eggs. Oh, I see one right in front of us, why can I not move? 
Are they bugged? This happened last time we tried to use the battle cry. Forty-five. Don't really want to take Mandrill here. He's very low. I'm trying to see if there's any other eggs. I could probably scout with our Cinemacrops. I don't know what's going on with Red Rocket. It's super annoying. I think scouting with our Cinemacrops might be the better option here. Don't necessarily have to fight them, but... We can take a look. I mean, worst case scenario, we've got a level 45 Magmasaur egg. I'm happy with it. A level 45 isn't the worst. I mean, it's not... It's it's a Magmasaur still, I guess. But yeah, it looks like there's only one of them in here. Which kind of sucks. I'm not seeing any others. Oh, hold on. There's one back there. I mean, that's a 55. That ain't much better, but I don't see an egg. Yeah, alright, I'm happy to settle with just the 45 egg. I mean, it, it's just mainly going to be for metal anyway. A high level one would have been awesome, but eh. Let's grab that. I don't know why Red Rocket isn't moving. It's really annoying. This happened last time as well. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was it was, it was was the first couple of episodes. One of the monkeys just wouldn't move for the life of him. Alright, let's just... Should probably get out of here instead of standing around, right? Because, like... This is going to be bad. Yeah, see, he's like in the air for some reason. Actually, I am going to grab that height. I think we are going to need the height. Alright, uh, Mandrill, you're getting your Pokeball. Shit stain, you're coming with us. Let's go. Alright, cool. Well, I mean, we got our Magmasaur egg. I'm happy about that. Uh, we did get a free artifact as well. I'm also pretty happy about that. I'm just going to put you into health because you can be a tank. Uh, level 45 egg. Like I said, it's not the worst. But, like, uh, a higher level one would have been better. I don't really have too much of an option here, though, because there's nothing else in here. So, I'm going to bail. I don't want to push our luck and and mess it up. But we did get a new 150 female as well. So, she hopefully has some decent stats to her. I'll compare her with the Soul Balls, because I think the Soul Balls actually tell you... Yeah, they do. They tell you the amount of points in each category. So she's got 30 HP, 26 melee damage, and 44 stamina. Uh, Red Rocket had 31 HP and 26 melee damage. So yeah, not the not the greatest amount of stats for our um, Dinopithecuses. But I've just realized that the, the Soul Traps actually tell us them. So that's really good. But guys, we're going to wrap the episode up here today. We got the artifact. We got a new monkey. We got a Magmasaur egg. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one where we hatch it.